I'm going to be working with the clappers today and with the felted wool pressing mat, and I'm going to tell you why I work with these. So we all know the phenomenon that you have sewn your project, let's say a block, and then you press it and it's all out of square because the surface you're working on is too smooth. With these felted wool pressing mats, that doesn't happen because the fabric sticks on them. You will see that wherever you place your project, this is where the fabric stays. So that nothing is out of square once you're done. Another advantage of this felted wool pressing mat is that you can use it as a design board. That means you can switch your fabrics as often as you want it until you have found your final design and you can look at them close up and also from far away. Okay, we are now done with our first seams and I would like to press the seam allowance flat in order to continue with the next seams. In order to do so, I'm gonna use my iron and my clapper. I have prepared two pieces of fabric to show you the difference between a piece that is only ironed and a piece that is ironed and clappered. You will see that the piece that I have clappered and ironed will stay super flat, whereas the other one will have the tendency to come back up just a tiny bit which can be hindering during the further process of sewing. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the subscribe button here or there, maybe there, not sure, and join us for the next videos to come. <laughs>